Hello everyone, welcome back my channel. Finding a rock that you think might contain gold is an exciting experience. You may have noticed some golden blobs or streaks, or they are heavier than you expected, or you expected it to contain hidden gold anyway. If you find a rock that potentially contains gold, to test a rock for gold, first perform non-destructive visual inspections and tests for weight and magnetism. You can also use destructive methods such as testing hardness, streak, ductility, or pulverizing and panning the powder. But in the event that gold is not seen with the naked eye, I'm just going to take a portion of each sample and break it down into a powder and then do the roasting process followed by washing with nitric acid and water, and then the process aqua regio. In order not to lengthen the video, I will shorten these operations, because it is in the previous videos. Warning. The process shown in this video involves highly corrosive acids and should only done outside or in a fume hood. Using safety gear such as gloves, goggles, and a respirator is mandatory. Now I have to aqua regia solutions to test. But I do not have a solution of stannous chloride now, therefore. I will use my own method to determine which samples contain gold. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. but I do not have a solution of stannous chloride now. Therefore, I will use my own method to determine which samples contain gold. I'll take a little bit of iron sulfate, about a teaspoon, then add a little bit of chlordric acid to it.
I will add a small drop of tester for each solution of each sample and we'll see what will happen. In this solution, the color changed to a dark, blackish color very quickly. Here the solution became almost dark in color. But in the second solution, it has not changed yet, but we will wait a little while to make sure where the gold is really. At this moment, the color is gradually changing here, as you can see. Where do you expect the presence of gold if we ask you? Personally, and according to my experience, I expect that this solution contains gold while the other does not contain anything. In order to make sure of this, we will take the next step. We will add to each aqua regia solution a little water and urea. Note the difference between these two samples. Here there is gold and there is nothing here at all and we will soon see the proof of my words.
Now we will add iron sulfate and water to each solution. As you can notice here that the color changes in this solution to a dark color gradually. This solution contains gold, which means that these stones are worth it to work on. While these stones are not worth it, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates.